So, here's some really amazing news. Video is back, and it works on iOS 11. No, really, I'm not making this up. Hello folks, welcome back to the Video Gadgets Journal. If this is your first time here, my mission on this channel is to help you screen record your iPhone and iPad screens and share them with the world. And with the advent of iOS 11, that kind of got easier because we have the built-in screen recorder. The one problem with the built-in screen recorder is that it still has some bugs, especially with microphone audio recordings. And another problem is, is that the way that AirPlay now works on iOS 11, it's destroyed all existing screen recorders such as Airshow and Evrecord. However, there used to be a alternative screen recorder called Video that was a fan of many users because of the way it works. And I have some fantastic news. The developer, unfortunately, hasn't been able to get this application back on the App Store, despite the fact that there is now an official screen recorder, so you would have thought that Apple would allow screen recorders on the App Store, but that's not so. Now, video existed on, uh, I would say, black market websites for a while until the developer decided that he didn't want his application being used in that way. But he has relented and just wants to know if you guys still want to use video as an alternative screen recorder. So let's show you how to get it. The place to go is, as usual, appvalley.vip forward slash app, and that will take you straight to the downloading source. You can see that it's now on the front page here, and it has got a slight name change from video to video, but if it's not on the front page, you can go to the library, then browse, scroll down, and it's in the screen recording section. It's the top one now, video, and tap get, and that should install it. And once the application has been installed on your device, what you should encounter is the usual untrusted enterprise developer error. That can be solved by simply going to settings, and finding the general settings, scrolling down to profile and device management. Find the certificate that it's currently attached to, trust the application, then go back to vid video. I've got to remember the new pronunciation. And there we are. We are into the screen recorder. Boom. Now time for a very quick tutorial. Three things you need to tick. Device audio, iPhone microphone, device screen. When you have them ticked, tap start. Then done. Now scroll down or scroll up to get the control center. And remember this is an iPhone 10 iOS 11. And there you can see it, screen mirroring is available for video. You press that. Gives you a beep to indicate that it started a recording. And now you can record as usual. You can see that there's a recording bar at the top here. Now one thing to note, and this has always been the case with video, when you're screen recording you cannot hear system sounds. So I'm loading up Clash Royale and I can't hear any of the system audio now, but it is recording it in the background. So if I press some buttons quickly, and then to stop the recording, I would go back to video, tap stop, and with any luck, we'll also stop the mirroring. Processing. Recording complete. So as you could hear there, it stopped the recording. We can now go to the photo gallery, and we should have one video recording, well two because I did one earlier, but there's a the video recording I just did, let's play it. Gives you a beat to indicate that it started a recording, and now you can record as usual. You can see that there's a recording bar at the top here. Now one thing to note, and this has always been the case with video, when you're screen recording you cannot hear system sounds. So I'm loading up Clash Royale, and I can't hear any of these system audio now, but it is recording it in the background. Video works on iOS 11, that much is clear, but can we import those videos into a video editor and still hear all the sounds? Let's find out. I'm going to go into iMovie, which is notorious for importing iOS 11 screen recorders without the audio microphone recording. Let's see if it's any different with video recordings. So go towards the beginning, let's press play and see if we can hear anything. Gives you a beat to indicate that it started a recording. And now you can record as usual. You can see that there's a recording bar at the top here. There was some great news. Finally, a bit of competition for the built-in iOS screen recorder on iOS 11. But if you have an older device, such as an iPod Touch, which is on iOS 10, I've got some great news there. Video also works 
on this device. Now, I agree that not being able to hear the audio when you're screen recording is a bit of a limitation for video. But the important point is that whether or not you decide to use it, we finally have some choice on what iOS 11 screen recorder to use, and that can only be a good thing, so I really applaud the developer for that. Now, if you want me to do a bit more coverage on video, do let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and if you want more iOS screen recording content just like this, subscribe to the Video Gadgets Journal. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.